So I'm making this video today um, because a lot of people come to me asking for information about doing photometry and photometric reduction and whatnot. And I wanted to share with you one of the really cool websites out there that gives just a huge amount of resources available for us uh, people, uh, the astronomer types out there who want to do photometry. You can do this for variable stars or for asteroids or for pretty much anything that you want to get a photometric reduction for. And that website is the AAVSO website, www.aavso.org, which is what you're looking at here. The really cool part of this, you can enter a star name. In this case, I like UGEM for UGEMINORM, and just say create a finder chart, and off it will go into its database and generate a finder chart uh, for UGEMINORM with north at the top, west on the right, so it's as if you're looking at the sky. And it's got a, a pretty uh, pretty good field of view. This is about a, it's like a 10 arc minute field of view. And it gives you some information about the local stars in the field. So Eugeminorum, the star of interest, is dead center. And then stars of magnitude are listed around it, the standard stars. And here, 10, 7, really stands for 10.7, 10.9, 8.6, 9.3, and 9.2. The interesting thing about this is that those are those are fairly rough estimates for those stars. Consider those estimates labels for the star. And if you want really accurate measures, there's this really cool thing up here called photometry table for this chart. If you click this, it will bring you to a photometry table for all the stars in that chart. So the one that was labeled 10.9, the label 10.9, has a B magnitude of 12.218 plus or minus 0.267 for magnitude in the B filter. These are Johnson Cousins filters, by the way. For V, it would be 10.947 plus or minus 0.081. And so these sources of errors have sources themselves and citations. So if you look down here for number 16, it comes from TASS, another sky survey. Okay. So very handy, and they've got everything in here from the, the uh, ID of the star in the AAVSO database, the right ascension and declination. Um, very handy. Uh, the label on the chart, the UBV uh, values, the B minus V values, the RIJHK values as well, all in here. Sometimes they don't have values, they just leave a little dash. So very handy. You can literally, oops, you can go back and forth uh, between these things and uh, be able to identify some precision um, what's going on here. One of the things you can do also if you're not looking for specific stars you can go to uh, here say return and replot and you can you can enter all sorts of stuff um, you can do something interesting like this create a star called John B that's me and give it a right ascension um, let's see um, I don't know what formats it's going to do Let's just try that format. So zero hours, 35 minutes, uh, plus one degree, uh, two minutes, 35 seconds of declination. Um, give it a name, testing for the title, comments. Go in here, give it a field of view, a magnitude limit. Um, I'm gonna make this a, a 50, I'll make it like a 20 arc minute field of view. Uh, north of the up, uh, east is to the left, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera and then just say plot chart and it will do just that it will create a chart for you which is really handy and it will give you estimates of the stars that are here um, for you as well in terms of magnitude values which is really handy these magnitudes by the way are V magnitudes so one of the handiest things that the AAVSO does so if you happen to be discovering an asteroid you want to do some photometry on it get some standards that's a great way to do it